It is essential that we teach and assess at all the cognitive levels. This is going to ensure that our learners get a full understanding of the subject and get a good chance to perform well. Now the three levels that we need to ensure that we are teaching and assessing on is the low order thinking, which is your knowledge and facts. From there you build on that to your understanding and reasoning, which is your middle order thinking. And then of course your highest order thinking, which is your metacognition and judgment. Now most subjects have their own way of interpreting these levels. And maths looks at it in four levels. So you have your lowest order thinking, which is your knowing. Then you look at applying routine procedures in a familiar context. Then we take that same multi-step procedures, but they're in a variety of contexts. And then your highest level of thinking, your highest order is your reasoning and reflecting. Now these four levels are divided up into percentage weighting and this determines how much of the assessment should be set at this level but more importantly how much time we should spend teaching in developing those particular cognitive skills. So 20% of our time should be spent on basic thinking and knowing, 35% on applying routine procedures in a familiar context, 30% on applying multi-step procedures in a variety of contexts and 15% on reasoning and re reflecting. So this of course applies to the amount of time we spend in the classroom developing these skills as well as in the assessments. So if you look at the practicality of an exam paper or a test, 20% should be spent on identification of formulae, maths vocabulary, with 35% on proofs and theorems, well-known procedures, calculations that they know involving only a few steps. 30% on problem solving and conceptual understanding and then 15% on reasoning and non-routine problems. So those are things that the learners have never seen before and they have to reason. It's really important that we spend this time focusing on these different levels in both our teaching and our assessment because this will give our learners the best opportunity to perform well.